Hello, this is Nanako here. Welcome to another review and an anime review. Uh, today we'll be reviewing Inuyasha Season 3 and what I think of this season. It's pretty good. Ain't gonna lie. There's not much I can say about the season because there's a lot of filler in this season. But the stuff that isn't filler, mostly the stuff to do with Naku and in this one episode where Inuyasha has to break a red thing and we'll get this red tie saga it's pretty cool and this new technique is used to make barriers and is used to make new because barrier this season is mostly about finding new ways to break to get through to Nuaku and they actually win a battle against Nuaku for once and have him retreats not much I can say about this season this season is pretty good it's a good, solid season. I really do enjoy it. It does have some moments. I think the finale doesn't really feel like a finale. It mostly just feels like a sub of notes. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. It literally ends on a whimsical moment. Whimsical moment, if you will, of um, Kokome going back home. Sick. It ends on that. But, to be honest, I enjoyed this season. It was a pretty good season. The openings were good. The endings, hell yeah, they were good. <laughs> but, how would I rank this above season one and season two? Probably way right in the middle ground between season one and season two. Well, season two, season one was so great, and season two was even greater. I think this is probably like in the middle for me. I wouldn't say it's my least favorite season, but not that much happens this season. And compared to like the season I'm currently watching, season four, a lot of stuff happens in season four. Like, holy shit, a lot of stuff happens in season four. Season one and season two, a lot of stuff did happen. Season three, not much happens because Naku Naku's not around a lot. And they're just fighting Mostly other demons. Not much happens that season. Because Naku is wooing them into a plan. Not much happens. But the season I'm currently in, oh boy. A lot of stuff happens. I'm not going to say what yet because I'm going to say that for the season four of you. But. Whew. Also, the season four of you will probably come out come out right after this video but i enjoyed this season this was a good season good season to start off i really enjoyed it I, the openings are good the soundtrack killer the character development for the most part it's all right and any and in you know, growing in power or character Fight new techniques to defeat Nuaku is a nice step up. And it's really cool. It's really cool. And I love this season. I think it's one that. Well, I'm not thinking about it. I think it's probably one of my. F uh, it'll probably be like in the between. it probably. If I had to rank these three seasons I've seen so far, well, four seasons. But it'll probably be season. One at the top, season three, and then season two. That's probably how I wake them. But season four, <laughs> that's a, that's definitely at the top. <laughs> season four is uh, uh, definitely up there, yeah. It's at the top. It's peak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll get into my place season four later, but yeah. I enjoyed the season. Perfect season. And that's about it. But with that said... Prepare yourself for the awesomeness of season four of Inuyasha. <laughs> the awesomeness of season four of Inuyasha. <laughs> be prepared. Be prepared. Anyway, I can't wait to get to that season review. Which is probably going to be right after this video. But with that said, the season's perfect. I love it. It's good. 
Sup with Kagome. Uh, sup with Kikyo, who's buried in the season. Um, yeah, not much really happens this season, to be honest. This is probably my least favorite season of three seasons I've watched so far. Mostly because not a lot's happened, and the stuff that does happen. I think it's just because the season has a lot of filler. Yeah, the season has a lot of filler in it. Like, I mean, a lot of filler to get to the stuff from Naraku. Like, it has a lot of filler. Lots and lots of filler. But at least the stuff of filler is pretty good. I will say that. The stuff of filler is good. Don't get me wrong. Inuyasha, even though as much filler as it's got in these seasons, the filler does keep you entertained. It does. Unlike other anime. Like, <clears throat> not at all. But, yeah. Oh, did I say that out loud? I'm going to arouse some fans with me hating on Naruto. Come at me, bro! <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, but with that said. Yeah, but the filler in this season isn't that bad. It's pretty good. It's good filler. It's good enough filler to get you entertained. It's passable filler. But... <laughs> Stuff that does matter is pretty good. And the filler that's in this season doesn't really bother the season that much. It's okay. Both that said, I think I think my final thoughts on the season. If I had to rate the season, um probably nine out of ten. Yeah, I won't give it that perfect ten out of ten. I'll probably give it a nine out of ten. But with that said, this is I'm going to sign off. Remember Stay big, Yunyasha fans. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!